Hello. Hey. <laughs> My name is Joe Russo. I'm the executive director of Palm Beach Tech, and I'm here with Adam Steinhoff, the uh, founder and CEO of Dedicated IT, a uh, really awesome uh, IT company uh, started right here in the Palm Beaches. Mm -hmm. And uh, Adam, tell, me, tell us a little bit more about the company and yourself. So, you know, the first thing I'd like to say is, uh, you know, uh, the company isn't just about me. So I, I don't want to make this the Adam show. Um, it's, it's much bigger than me at this point. But uh, to sum it up, Dedicated IT is a network support company, uh, strategic consultant for um, businesses with 50 to 150 employees really is our, is our sweet spot. Mm -hmm. And unlike most of the Palm Beach Tech folks, uh, we are not really on the programming side and the graphic development website side of the house. We're more in running the systems that those folks yeah. create on, as well as strategic consulting on um, what technology to use in your organization. Yeah, and one of the things that um, you know we talked about, I think, when you know, we, we first met was the um, uh, the stadium that you mm -hmm. guys did, where yeah. you basically yeah. created all of the tech mm -hmm. infrastructure for the ballpark of the Palm Beaches. Yeah, I mean that's that's a really cool win. Um, we, uh, at, you know, initially when we bid on it, I was like, "There's no way, <laughs> there's no way a little company like ours can can win this project." But um, what they liked about it was that we were a local company that had the ability to deliver with both the talent on staff and uh, the relationships with partners to be able to actually make it happen. So um, it went from us being kind of the underdog up against you know global companies or national companies. I mean like Xfinity and AT&T were bidding on the same project and we beat them. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, anytime the underdog can uh, really mm -hmm. win a good one, yeah. that's, that's pretty yeah, awesome. But you know, I, I look at um, um, you know, the story of David and Goliath a lot, uh, you always think that, uh, that David is the underdog. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the perspective differently, that he came prepared and he fought a battle uh, on his terms. Mm -hmm. You know, he used a sling and a rock when Goliath was expecting shields and, 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 and swords. So, you know, I look at it as, you know, maybe we weren't the underdog. <laughs> you know, maybe we, were, we came in and we, we fought our our game, our story, and our, our strengths by pitching the fact that we're a local organization and a, a, a small business and earthed out of Palm Beach. So, yeah. and you're yeah. from here, right? I am, born and raised. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. what town? From? I was born in Palm Beach Gardens. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so right along with yeah, me there. Yeah, right? Yeah. And my parents um, actually still live in the same house they brought me home from, uh, from the hospital. So. Went to Palmetto Elementary School, Coniston Middle School, Forest Hill High School. Uh, I signed up for a lot of classes at Palm Beach. Well, it was P PBCC at the time, but um, Palm Beach State College. Um, signed up for a bunch, went to a few, and uh, ultimately decided that college was not for me at that time. Mm -hmm. And but, when did uh, you start to get in IT? Man, uh, well, I've been in IT forever. I mean, I mean, from, from seven years old on, my family had a computer and, you know, you'd play games on it or break it and you'd have to fix it before my dad got home. Um, you know, so I got really good at that. And then luckily in high school, uh, I was, uh, had the advantage of being part of the um, Engineering and Technology Academy at mm -hmm. Forest Hill High School, which really allowed me to um, explore Technology, and there was a group of guys in there with us that we were constantly hacking. Um, you know, sometimes in the good sense, sometimes in the bad sense. But we we really learned at a foundational level how to use technology to our advantage. And from that point on, it was it was pretty obvious that I was not going to be a professional baseball player. Oh, and, I had uh, that realization. Yeah, so. <laughs> and that uh, and that I would be a geek from that point on. So. And. Uh, just a kind of quick uh, uh, snapshot of dedicated IT. Uh, how many employees do you have today? Who are so, some of your core clients? Right, right. We've um, we've been growing um, 2x year over year for for about three years now. That's awesome. Uh, we're at near 30 employees at this point. I think we'll finish the year up 
in the realm of five million in revenue. Wow. And um, you know, normally that's exciting, uh, but now we're looking at two xing that <laughs> next year and trying to figure out um, how we're going to lay the groundwork and have have that type of explosive growth happen. So, so you're obviously hiring. We are. We're hiring all the time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, not just your your ten year veterans, but your your young guys too, just trying to get into the business, right? Yeah, yeah. So we've spent a good time this year really laying the foundation, like I said, of, of the of the leadership mm-hmm. and of the um, mid level folks. Uh, we thought it was important to have that foundation first and then focus on on the, the newcomers. Yeah. And because it's really hard to launch an internship program when you don't have the staff around them to build them up and really give them what they deserve rather than just being the person who all the junk work falls on. You, you really want to have a place that they can, can yeah. foster uh, potentially a career out of. And uh, this week actually happens to be uh, Global Entrepreneur Week. Mm-hmm. Uh, as a matter of fact, and there's a lot of really neat things going on, a lot of events, there's going to be uh, a lot of uh, people talking about entrepreneurship. Um, but you know, one of the, the neat things with you is you actually have you know, gone about and done it successfully. Yeah. And um, you know, what, what's one of the, the, the words of wisdom or your, your Adam's tips or so? <laughs> to, uh, Surround yourself with really, really good people so that it makes it look like I actually did way whatsoever I would have been able to be successful. Yeah. So, um, you know, number one is good people, whether they're on your team or mentors. The second thing I would say is if you do go the mentorship route, actually listen. Because, you know, Dedicated IT has been around for 15 years now. Mm-hmm. And I'm reading books and I'm doing things now that I remember mentors telling me about 10 years ago. And at that point in time, it wasn't, maybe it wasn't that I didn't listen or maybe I didn't grasp what they were saying on a business aspect, but I now am learning those lessons now, sometimes the hard way, and going, man, I, I really wish I would have implemented some of these things 10 years ago. Um, and then I think the other thing that was really important and really propelled our growth in the last few years is really understanding um, why your company exists and what makes you different and being able to uh, articulate that precisely. Uh, there's an awful lot of Me Too companies when you first launch, you know, um, and being able to really hone in on, on what makes you special and really celebrating that is important. Yeah. I mean, I, I can tell you from, you know, the outside looking in, one of the things that, you know, I always take from you is you're constantly improving. Oh, yeah. And constantly leaning on people around you to say, all right, yeah. how, do we, how do we do better as a team? How yeah. do we do better as a company? And, uh, you know, the, one of the things that I took from your, your notes was you don't try and take yourself or your, your business too seriously. You do try and have some fun. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I think, um, you know, touching on the constant improvement part, that is one of the core values of dedicated IT. It's, it is a, uh, you have to have it if you want to be an employee with our company. Yeah. You have to embrace um, not only change but constant improvement. You know, I often will ask you in your interview, what are you doing right now to improve yourself? Mm-hmm. And if you can't tell me you have a home lab or you're reading some book or you know something like that, you're probably not going to be a good fit for our organization. Um, you know, Toyota had Kaizen, which was their constant improvement process that went all the way from the from the floor to the CEO. Mm-hmm. And um, I look at our company very much like that. That we will be better today than we were yesterday and not nearly as good as we will be tomorrow. So it's a constant improvement. We've stepped in those landmines uh, that maybe some of our competitors haven't hit yet. And because we have, uh, we've got that knowledge base to not do it again. Um, you know, and then the, and the, on the side of, of just having fun, man, I love our company. You know, I was literally Friday, I said it to probably three or four people where I'm hearing people out in the hallway, you know, joking about TPS reports and, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm literally chuckling at my desk going like, man, I have a rock solid team, yeah, with amazing experience and credentials and all of these things, but they can get down. They like to have fun and, and that's cool. Yeah. 
Well, you, you can't always take yourself too seriously in, in business, I always think. But I, I, I try. I'm on my best behavior right now, actually. Yeah. I should get a gold star after this. Oh, yeah. Well, well I, I wasn't sure how this interview would go. I didn't know if he was going to be hanging from the ceiling by now or what. But oh, man. This actually <laughs> well, actually, I am going to do something weird. So hold on a second. Oh. I was sitting here as I was talking, and I... Who, who is this? I don't even know if you can get oh, that. Oh, jeez. I, I saw this, like... Those are three Joes. They're three Joes? Yeah, yeah. So that's me. I'm a uh -huh. Joe. That's Joe Ruskowski, who's uh -huh. a, uh, an engineer who's here. Right. That's Joe Pergadio, who uh, we, at one time, had an office together. Uh-huh. So we called it Joe Island. It was Joe Island. Huh? Yeah, right. there were so three... I, just, I saw this, and I thought it was really weird that, like... There's a picture of three random have, guys. Like, really? I'm like, I recognized one of them, but I don't know why the other one was there. So Yeah, so we had a, an office, um, you know, before Palm Beach Tech Space. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a, a few of us that had an office, and um, there was four people in the office. There was the three Joes, and then there was a guy named Nick Satley. Mm -hmm. And Nick was always talking about, oh, gosh, I'm stuck on Joe Island. So, you know, we, we had some fun with it. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, most importantly, you know, we had a camaraderie with the people that we work around. Which, you know, as we're sitting in a tech space right now, um, yeah. you know, you, you kind of think of, of being able to birth that, that funness. You know, you can come here, you can get some stuff done, but at the same time, you can sit in the corner and you can get that chuckle that I get uh, with my team. Even though they're not necessarily your team, you're still kind of part of, of yeah. something, right? And so. we had a... We had an event here this weekend, which you uh, heard about, called Startup Weekend, yep. mm -hmm. and we had nine teams, and those nine teams did everything from uh, blockchain to robotics to, you know, everything that you can imagine. Mm -hmm. But they had fun. Yeah. And the, everybody who came to that event, um, you know, basically said, "Hey, this was a really fun experience. Just trying to get out of my norm and build something." So I'm gonna I'm gonna put you on the spot here. Shoot. You know, I know as like a father, you can't pick your favorite kids. <laughs> Personally or publicly, but like, which one was the best pitch? Uh, well, there's a difference between the best pitch and kind of the company right. that I think could really do That's it. That's one I want. Yeah. Uh, okay, so the company I really think could have uh, some pretty cool effects was this mm -hmm. company called Green Elephant, which um, they uh, wanted to uh, simplify the way that you were uh, basically doing gardening and planning, right? So let's say Adam Steinhoff, you don't have a green thumb, mm -hmm. but you I still don't. But you still want a basil plant, or you want a tomato plant, or you yeah. want to get a, a bed of plants for, for you and your wife, and you can you know, set up a, a little bit of a garden. Mm -hmm. Well, they'll send you the kit. They also have an app that allows you to keep track of when you should be watering, when you should be fertilizing, and all that. And part of their profits and proceeds go to uh, a social good cause about mm -hmm. helping clean up the world around you and get food. So uh, basically, you guys did like Shark Tank. But like Palm Beach County style, kind of here locally. Well, it, it earlier, was, it was more like you had two days to build a company from uh -huh. scratch, and That's then we fun. had a, a panel of judges who were pretty, uh, pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. Like the the type of judges that, like, if if you had the chance to pitch a company like two days after you started it yeah. to one of them, I, that that would have been a pretty cool opportunity. So we had five of those guys, and uh, you know the the feedback that they have was pretty cool. Um, and one of them was like, hey, you know, I got to meet this guy. Just mm -hmm. like, if this idea come, becomes something, I want to be in on it. <laughs> and that's, uh, that's pretty cool to have a team that literally met each other on a Friday, pitch a company There's on a Sunday. Like a dog just joined us. Oh, yeah, we have uh, our security dog Kate, oh. here with us today, too. She doesn't look very scary. No, <laughs> but, but she, keeps, uh, she keeps us out of trouble. <laughs> so, anyway, we're going to um, wrap up. Uh, Global Entrepreneurship Week mm -hmm. is this week. You can go to eweekpb.com to check out all of the events. Follow us on Beach Tech for more. eweekpb.com. Okay. So, Entrepreneur Week, E Week. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit uh, less words than Entrepreneur Week. I probably couldn't have spelled it. Uh, <laughs> I would have had to like Google the spelling for entrepreneur before I could have gotten to the website. So, I like E Week. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, thank you so much, Adam, for joining us and congrats on all the success. Can, can I put one plug out there? Sure. Like, we need people. So if you are a capable, awesome, uh, problem-solving individual who likes network infrastructure consulting, either on the technology side or on the sales side, I would love it if you would go to www.dedicatedit.com and uh, do a little research and see if we're the type of company that you would want to work for. Yeah. That's all I got. Sorry. Oh, you're good. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Enjoy the rest of your Monday, and have a great week. Peace out.